there's one particular painful thing that Ibarra said he must I mean, address with you. Yes, yes, and uh, we all agreed that he should do, be the one that will ask that question. Yes, Mr. President, in a, a similar event like this in the past, you remarked that stealing is not corruption. And this issue has generated a lot of controversy. Nigerians are worried. The social media, it, it becomes a, a, a something that everybody, people talk about and insult, they insult you about. Now, Mr. President, please, can you tell us, clarify what you meant by those statements? My brother, thank you for asking. I think I had uh, uh, one or two persons, very senior persons, uh, politicians who made that uh, allegation. Though, uh, the president that says still is not corruption. But the good thing is that those who are making that statement, they have not told you that the president says stealing is good. How are we the 10 Nigerians that say stealing is good? But this is, oh, the president says stealing is not corruption. Luckily, they did not say the president said stealing is good. And you see, that is why the philosophers say that people disagree, because uh, the primary reason for disagreement is that people use the same word to explain two different things. I use two different words to explain the same thing, so you get a communication gap. I made that statement because I quoted the former CGN, uh, Mustafa. Mm -hmm. because, because of these issues of corruption, I called a meeting, it's a, a creation of me, the executive, myself, the vice president, and the anti-graph agencies, ICPC, FCC, and the police. Then I asked uh, the Senate President and the Deputy, the Speaker and the Deputy, then the Chief Justice of the Federation, the President of the Appeal Court, the Chief Justice, uh, the Chief Justice of the Federal High Court, and for the State Courts, we take one Chief Justice per zone, six of them. Say, so look, both, though there is in the Constitution, there is no provision for the three arms of government to come together because yeah, of this separation of powers. But I say, look, the issue of corruption, if the three arms of government don't come together to tackle this corruption, the whole country is being humiliated. Everywhere you go, corruption, corruption, corruption. When the chief judge uh, turned to speak, that was Justice Mustafa, he said that because of this corruption, corruption, he took most of the files that uh, talked about corruption. And when he looked through the files, more than 80% of them are just stealing. They are cases of theft. But people use corruption to cover. What I'm saying is that if, for example, let's go to the southwest and go to a typical community in the southwest and I look at you and say uh, this young man is corrupt they will be looking at the young man so he's corrupt they will look at him but call that young man Ole and see what will happen to that young man call him Ole that's thief they will turn him to death our people hate thieves more than the they hate they corrupt, hate corrupt. I, I've been saying that sometimes we use corruption to cover lapses of government functionaries Somebody who cannot do his work well, they say it's because of corruption. As a thief should be called a thief. Only should be called only and be treated as a thief. In the villages in those days when we are there, even if you're an adult and you steal goat or you steal a bunch of plantain or something, mm -hmm. they naked you, they tie snail shells around your waist and flog you across the village, humiliate you and your family. But if you say this man is corrupt, some, some, some people don't even know what you're talking about. Apart from well-developed languages like the Aousa language, the Yoruba language and the Igbo language. Some of the smaller languages we speak don't even have the equivalent word for corruption. Ask people. Semantics then. Yes, the, if you ask some of the smaller languages, what is the equivalent of corruption? They will be giving you some descriptive statements. Because people don't even know this corruption. I said that you are even using the corruption to cover thieves. A thief should be called a thief. Ole should be called Ole and be giving that Ole treatment. But I don't know what happened. We will turn it upside down. Luckily, they have not told Nigerians that the president says uh, it's good to steal. Mm -hmm. I've not said so. But we are saying that if somebody is a thief, he should be a thief. Don't use the word corruption to cover everything. If somebody who is incompetent is a corruption. Somebody who, if you thief, you only is only and should be treated as only. I'm not saying people should be disgraced. Yes, I'm not saying people should be treated like it's done in the village. No, mm -hmm. I'm not saying so. But the punishment for that, we should deal with that matter. That way. But well, maybe in the West, they use the word corruption to cover so many things, and sometimes people will corruption. corruption. I'm telling you, just for example, two people should come, go to a typical site where, even in Lagos, one young man or young lady should come and say, This person is corrupt. They will look at the person, the person will walk away. 
But the day you see that this person is holy, or it, it, it will start stoning that person. So people feel more offended when they say you are a teacher. So let's use words that communicate so, the message. So yes, yeah, so let us communicate properly. Let people know. That is, that is, I quoted him. It's not me. It's not as if I said it. No, mm -hmm. I quoted Mustafa. He's still alive. He's the one who said he examined all these corruption cases. And he said almost 80% of them are cases of just stealing and should be treated as, uh, yes. Okay. It's not